Croatia is a charming European nation that makes for the ideal island hopping destination. It's also a wonderful place to enjoy outdoor activities and the beauty of the outdoors. These tiny islands feature breathtaking coastlines and breathtaking views from quaint coastal towns where you can discover historical sites and take in the Adriatic Sea. These are the Croatian islands that everyone should visit. Brak. Brak, the biggest island in Dalmatia, is well known for being a luxurious retreat with a stunning coastline. You can explore the nation's rich history since it has been inhabited since the Neolithic era by taking a quick ferry ride from Split. Be sure to admire the island's rocky coastline and natural white stone, which was used to build the stunning Diocletian's palace in Split. Rab. 13 miles of absolute tranquility along the Adriatic Sea can be found at Rab which is located off the northern coast of Croatia in Kvainer Bay. It is well known for being the location where King Edward VIII took his new wife, Wallace Simpson, in 1936. There, he stripped off his regal robes and dove into the water, setting the stage for the island's nudist-friendly tradition. Its beautiful beaches and laid-back atmosphere extend to its small town, which is a scene of church towers and terracotta roofs. Dugi Otok Dugi Otok, one of the larger northern Dalmatian islands, is easily accessible by boat and is ideal for hiking, cycling, and diving. You can visit the town of Sali for fresh, flavorful seafood in the neighborhood restaurants after exploring the western part of the island to see its collection of tall cliffs and rocky coastlines. The island's most famous beach, Sikorin, is only 27 miles long, and its southeasterly portion was designated a national park. Pag offers visitors the chance to explore pebble and sand beaches as well as a 15th century church of St. George. This island is famous for its moonlike landscape, lace manufacturing, and Pag cheese. Pag is renowned for having a rich cultural heritage, with medieval streets leading to small shops where local women can be seen making lace. Indulge in nightlife in Novalgia after taking a stroll through Old Town Pag to see an archaeological site or visiting Cersei Beach to see its picturesque beaches. Krapanj. Krapanj, one of Croatia's smallest inhabited islands, is also one of the most easily reached. It is only 1,000 feet away from the mainland. Sea sponges have a long history here, and you can check out their wares in neighborhood shops or go deep for your own undersea adventure. After that, take in island culture and savor squid ink risotto, a specialty of the area. Var. Var is the most well-known island in Croatia. The historic Franciscan Monastery of Our Lady of Grace and the old town of Var are both lovely locations to learn about some of Croatia's past. Observe yachts bobbing on its sun-drenched shores while enjoying a glass of wine and some southern Croatian cuisine at one of the small neighborhood restaurants. One of Croatia's most opulent vacation spots, it attracts celebrities, the wealthy, and those who enjoy luxury. Vis. Vis is a picturesque island destination located far from Croatia's mainland. It is famous for its blue cave by Sivo. It boasts an unspoiled paradise-like atmosphere where you'll be surrounded by some of the nation's most breathtaking landscapes and served as a Yugoslav National Army base from 1950 to 1989. There are two towns you can visit where beach enclaves entice you in for a day of sunbathing. This town in the northeast and Kamiza in the southwest. Corcula. This island was initially inhabited by Greeks, who gave it the name Corcyra Melena. Black Corcula due to its heavily wooded landscape. It is now more well known for its white wine, which is made from the Pazup grape and is regarded as Croatia's crispiest and coolest variety. 
It is the second most populated island in the Adriatic Sea and has a mix of picturesque hamlets and vineyards, as well as quaint fishing villages scattered along the coast. Consider admiring its medieval walls or going to the Marco Polo Gallery and Cathedral in the city known as Little Dubrovnik. Cress Cress is a small island in the northern Adriatic Sea that is dotted with forests, cliffs, and hilltop towns. Visit its 16th-century Venetian Tower, Arson Palace, and Cress Museum, which is home to regional attire, tools, and artifacts. Look up to see if you can spot this ferocious bird spreading its wings past a famous Adriatic sunset. Is known for its population of griffins. It is the ideal location to explore the distinct culture and allure of Croatia's island life and is reachable by ferry via Rijeka. Solta Solta, which is easily reached by ferry from Split, is a wonderful location to take in some of the most picturesque vineyards and olive groves on the island that have been maintained over many years. Hire a bike and tour the island's small villages and farms before hiking to Vela Straza to take in the views from the peak or swimming and sailing at the bays and beaches. If you enjoy diving, explore the underwater treasures of the island, which include items like Roman shipwrecks.